Okay guys, we have one week until the start of your exam, so what are the important things you need to be focusing on? I am so proud of you guys. I know how hard you've been working, um, how much effort, how much time you've been putting into your exams, and I'm so, so proud of every single one of you. You're doing such fantastic work. And we are really close to the end now. So I know it feels like there's been like a massive, massive slog, like you've been putting loads and loads of work in, but soon it will all be over. And then you will have the long summer stretching in front of you to enjoy yourself. And then hopefully in August we will see the rewards. Um, however, if you haven't started yet, it's not too late. Don't worry. Start now, please. Please start now. Um, right, so week before the exams, what are the important things you need to be doing? Um, you need to be coming up with a checklist of bits that you don't know or haven't covered fully yet. So the contents page of your revision guide is really good for this. The specifications from the exam boards are really good for this, but sometimes they can be a bit hard to find. Sometimes they can be a bit wordy, a bit teacher heavy. Um, or for science and maths, over my website, I've done like a nice student friendly free version for you to go and download go through um, <clears throat> the specification or the contents page of your revision guide and just have a quick look at things, colour code things, love colour coding things, so red, I've got no idea what this is, green, I'm really happy with this, orange, I'd like to do a little bit more practice on this and try and fill in any gaps, we still have time for filling in gaps so and don't worry if there is stuff that you've forgotten to cover or you don't know or um, really, really confuses you. We still have time. And then do your best to try and fill in those gaps. Now, towards the, towards the end of a course, it's going to be the really, really complicated stuff. And if you don't understand the really, really, really complicated stuff, don't stress yourself out too much. We don't have a lot of time left, so we need to be using our time wisely. So if there's something um, that might only be worth like one or two marks in the exam and is really, really complicated and you don't understand it, or there's something that could be worth like six marks on the exam and you kind of understand it but you're not sure, you need to use your time wisely. It might be better um, spending time consolidating the the slightly easier, because we still need to do some hard stuff, the slightly easier stuff that's more likely to come up as opposed to the like grade nine, A star stuff that might come up. Now I'm not saying you can miss out like massive, massive chunks of the specification or even whole topics. But if there's maybe like one lesson where your teacher was teaching something and you just didn't get it and you've been trying, you've been trying, you've been trying and trying, feels like you're banging your head against a wall. You're making yourself stressed, you're making yourself tired, uh, it's getting you frustrated. Maybe, maybe you don't have to do that bit. Now obviously if you are aiming for those A stars and those nines, and I'm afraid you are going to have to cover everything. But if you're aiming for like sixes, sevens, Bs, Maybe we don't have to cover everything. Maybe your time we better spend doing other things. So we still have time to fill in gaps, but don't freak yourself out about trying to cover absolutely everything if it's stressing you out, because being stressed out is not good for you. It's not productive. Um, I know this is a horrible time of year. I know it is. We've got exams coming up, we've got um, loads and loads of things coming up, and you have lives as well. Looking after yourself is really, really important. So, you know, I've said this to you before, you need to get enough sleep, you need to get enough um, to eat, you need to look after yourself, you need to take time out to sit down, chill out, meditate, read a book, go and play sports, something okay you need to be looking after yourself as well that is just as important as doing your vision now don't take this excuse to take like an entire day off and go and do something else you still have to be doing your vision as well but you need to be breaking up you need to be interspersing things and I know you don't want to spend days stuck inside at your desk because it's beautiful and sunny outside 
but it is only for a few more weeks literally for a few more weeks okay if i can count down how many weeks left i've got being pregnant and i'm going to be pregnant well after your exams then your exams are going to be finished sooner than you know it if you're stuck on how to revise or what good revision techniques it's like or how you should be sorting out a timetable i've done a massive massive long playlist on revision techniques i think we're up to like 25 videos now go and check that out and that will help you sort out how to revise if you haven't got that sorted out yet or um which bits are important which bits to focus on for science specifically um a week before the exams we should be going through the quick five questions making sure you know all of those like i said the contents pages for your revision guide um for maths try looking back through your textbook and doing the end of topic questions um you don't have to do hard questions you don't have to do just the easy questions try and mix them up a little bit try and spread your revision out as evenly as you can but don't forget that some subjects are more important than other subjects. So your core subjects, your maths, your English, things you want to do for A-level are going to be the focus of your revision, whereas things that you don't want to do for A-level aren't core subjects. Um, maybe we're just an extra option that you had to take because you had to come up with 10 or 9 or 11 or however many. Maybe you don't have to spend all your time focusing on those. So, one week to go, guys. We are filling in gaps. We are looking after ourselves. Filling in gaps, looking after yourselves, and please remember, I know how hard you're working. I'm really, really, really proud of each and every single one of you, and good luck, guys. We will get through this together.